Hello and welcome to Yokateki. Today we are going to create media control foot pedal using Arduino Micro Pro. A friend of mine who is a professional clown asked me for an advice. He needed a foot pedal that he could use to control media during his shows. Uh, his hands are frequently uh, occupied during the show and he wants to be able to uh, control play and stop uh, of the audio that goes in the background. I thought this is an interesting project and decided to build it myself. He uses Zara player to play his files and Zara player is controlled by sending keystrokes from keyboard uh, keystroke P if you want it to start playing the content and keystroke S if you want it to stop uh, playing and jump to the next song in the playlist. So basically the pedal should, be, should have keyboard compatible drivers and alternatively send uh, keystrokes S and P when he presses the pedal. Another thing that I thought would be very useful is to add uh, some sort of a visual feedback so he is able to understand by looking at the foot pedal if it is currently playing or posing and also it will tell him that everything is fine and the pedal is powered on. I found in our local online store the two machine foot pedal for 29 dirhams that has momentary switch built in. In order to be able to send keystrokes over USB we need 32U4 or SAMD processor. From the same store I purchased an Arduino Micro Pro for 49 dirhams, which is a very compact and can fit easily into a small package. I originally planned to fix everything inside the pedal, but the request for the longer cable made it difficult. As you may know, USB 2.0 specification limits cable length to 5 meters, and for USB 3.0 it is 3 meters. If you want to extend this limit, you need to buy active cables that repeat and amplify the signal. I couldn't find any active USB cables on the local market, and even if I could, I wouldn't use them on this project as they would be quite bulky and wouldn't fit inside the pedal anyway. Instead, I decided to buy another small box where the processor will be connected that will be placed near the PC and have another control cable from there to the pedal. As in this case, we will be sending pedal switch status through this cable and no digital data communication, the cable can be much longer. I also thought that it would be useful to add indication on the box that the processor is powered and another indicator on the foot pedal that will show current status, play or stop. So I bought a few additional parts like LEDs, printed circuit boards, etc. I used pins A0 and A1 as outputs to control LEDs one in the connection box and another one fixed inside the pedal. Pin A2 was used as input where pedal switch is connected. Connection diagram shows that we need cable with at least three wires to connect the pedal to the connection box. First I soldered connection pins to the Arduino board so that I can test the connection first on the breadboard and then I fixed all components following the connection diagram. The most efficient approach when programming is to test the inputs and outputs first, so I created a simple test program that will alternate LEDs when the contact is detected. Once I was sure that I can control LEDs and read input from the switch, I added a simple logic and used keyboard.edge library to send keystrokes to the PC. I will provide Dropbox link in the description, please feel free to download and use the code and customize it to your needs. Once the functionality was tested, I fixed all the components to both the pedal and the connection box and tested functionality one more time. And the last thing is to test the pedal while juggling. Not easy. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video. If you're interested in similar projects, I leave the link below to another video where I made the uh, temperature logger with Arduino. Please don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos from Yokateki.
Ciao.